Hello YouTube, my name is Jay Towns and I am a freshman at Northwestern University. Today is my first day of classes, which means that I have skipped the entirety of Wildcat Welcome. Um, but if you want to know what that's about, pretty much, oh, pretty much you just lose your voice uh, if you're not careful, so watch out for that. A, huh? First day, yeah. Woo! Yeah, everybody's friendly, usually. So I'm a theater major, so my class schedule is not nearly as intense as a lot of other people, but I still decided it'd be cool to do a kind of video like this so you can see what it's like around campus. So I'm at Allison Hall right now, about to get some food. My voice is gonna be gone by the end of this video. So I uh, got my food and they didn't have any forks left, so I ended up just getting a spoon. This is my roommate, Ben. <clears throat> You're probably gonna have one of these. This is what college does to you. I have gotta ride my bike to North Campus and I have no way to put this on my bike, so here we go. Oh no. Ooh. Northwestern, what have you done? Let me uh, ask this random person sitting on this bench. Hello, what's Hello, your name? Hello, Natalia. Natalia, yes. that's nice. And what's your major? Um, I'm history and I'm pre-med. So. History and pre-med, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you, yeah. smarty pants. Oh, thanks. Interesting combination, huh? Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> So, um, what does your class schedule look like then? For today? Um, today, I have my first chemistry lecture, and then I have an art history class. Wow, that's cool. So, how do you how do you think overall, like with your whole schedule, you're gonna like balance it? Do you think it'll be like reasonable? Do you think you can do it? I think it'll be okay. It'll be reasonable. It'll be tough at first, but everything will get used to it eventually. Yeah, that's the spirit. Yeah. Thanks, Natalia, okay. for your time. Thank you. I'll see you later. I'll see you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> So living on South Campus has its perks for me because I'm a theater major. So a lot of the classes that are for um, arts and language and that kind of things, things in the School of Communication, they're like down here. Um, a lot of the classes that are like more science and uh, like industry-based medicine, all that stuff, um, all the athletic facilities are up north. So that's like the difference between where I live and where a lot of the other people live. I know some theater kids in the north and I know some engineering people like my roommate who live in south and it, they're both doable so it's really up to you. So behind me is what they call the rock and uh, there's a bunch of history on that that you can look up if you really want to know. I don't really know anything about it but I know that people paint it and if you want to paint it you have to like wait for 24 hours like with your group you have to have people going through a cycle and you can paint it and you can put whatever you want on it. Um, so if that's worth it for you you can do that but uh, I don't know, it's been painted like a lot of times and there's a lot of layers, so I wonder how big the rug actually is, like underneath. It's kind of hard to tell, but yeah, maybe I'll do that sometime. If you do happen to want to take classes or um, live on a certain part of campus, no matter where your classes are, a smart decision for you would be to get a bike because you can go way faster in the smallest amount of time and pretty much every building has bike racks, if not every single building. And so that'll be really convenient for you if you really, really want to get to the other side of campus. But um, I'm actually deciding that I'm gonna go back to my dorm right now, just in case I don't have time to come back. Because after th you get like in the swing of things with your classes, you're not really gonna ha wanna go back and forth, back and forth. Actually, I only have one class today, linguistics, um, which apparently satisfies a math credit. That's great, because I hate math, so I wasn't really gonna ask. Heading into my dorm, and I live in 1838 Chicago, which is South Campus. It's right across from the Arch, if you've ever seen that or know what that is. And uh, so apparently they keep the floor plans really secretive, so I'm just gonna go back to my room and uh, talk to you again there. The one thing I will say though, is that 1838 has an elevator that only goes down to the gym. It goes from the first floor to the gym. And at first I thought it was because it's out of order and they're gonna fix it, but no. I went in there yesterday just to check it out and it literally only has two buttons. One for the, the floor, like first floor, and then one for the basement. So uh, just so you know, you're gonna be walking up a lot of stairs if you're on the fourth floor like me. Oh. The beds aren't that bouncy. A lot of people get worried when they think about Northwestern's acceptance rate, which keeps dropping every year, and now it's below 10%. And they think about themselves like, oh, like, I'm not good enough. Like, I shouldn't even try. Um, yes, yes you should, okay? Uh, I thought I didn't belong here, okay? They, they do a really good job of making you feel like you really deserve to be here, but 
um, we know accidents happen, right? <laughs> so you just, you never know. If you really want to go for it, go for it. Because I didn't think I was going to get in, yet here I am. And there's a lot of other people here who, um, I, questionably, um, were on the line. But I literally met somebody who didn't know what the word dialogue meant. Um, if you, and if you don't know what the word dialogue means, then, uh, good luck, Charlie. If you don't know what the word dialogue means, then uh, you better get your U Chicago application ready. So I've just spent the last 30 minutes going over my calendar and color coding all of my classes. As you can see, I uh, have just input all my classes to repeat so I know what's going on. I highly suggest using Google Calendar. It's really efficient and it can you can use it on all of your devices. So yeah, highly recommend, 10 out of 10. Pro tip, if there's nobody coming on both sides of the road, you can walk. I guess a lot of people who don't come from like, like city areas are like really uncomfortable with jaywalking, but like, if there's no cars coming, you can walk across the street. Get to where you gotta go, man. Like you got your own stuff to do. So don't worry about it. Uh, hi, I'm Lucas, uh, Assistant Dean and Director of Student Conduct. Hi Lucas, so can you, do you have any advice for me for like the time? Because I have a lot more time on my hands now than I used to have. Mm -hmm. So like, what should I be doing with that extra time? Like, what could I be doing that's like actually profitable and not like sleeping in or like, you know, just watching YouTube or something like that? Take care of yourself. Get sleep when you feel like you need it. Actually, you'll do better academically if you do sleep in occasionally. Don't sleep through your classes, but get more sleep. <laughs> okay. And then, um, Decide things you want to do. Don't just do things because they build your resume. Do things because you really care about it. So I would encourage you to do that. Okay. So not as much get things done or checklists because I'm a big like, list checker. Yeah. Don't 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 think about productivity. Think about taking care of yourself. That's the most important thing. Okay. And then you'll be successful. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. There you go. You got it from the man himself. Pro tip: Learn how to say no. They give out a crap ton of free stuff here that you will probably never use. This is hand sanitizer, so I guess that'll be useful. Um, this is a pom pom, so I can take it to the games, right? And then here's like I don't know, some brochure. Say something. Stay safe. Uh, whatever. Um, all of these things are great, but like in reality, you're probably not going to use them. But I take them anyway. So I've got a bunch of random purple stuff in my dorm, but. You don't have room in your dorm, so you don't want to get all the free stuff. I put it in my bag anyway, because <laughs> you just, you never know. Pro tip, get clothes that you can wear with your other clothes. A lot of people just buy clothes for like one outfit, but if you want to have like a comprehensive outfit, like this man right here. You know, like we're not twinning at all or Right, anything. we're not twinning or anything, bro. But look, you want to buy stuff that you can actually use with your other clothes so you don't just buy like one outfit and then you don't have anything else to wear you know what I mean cuz like so most of my clothes are black and white I choose to like wear like black and white so that I can wear almost any of my clothes with oh, almost right. any of my That's clothes you know you know what I mean guy. black and white all the way down Hi. <laughs> so this is my friend here what's your name my name is Riley Jackson okay Riley and so what's your major I'm majoring in biological sciences, Ooh. so in the pre-med track. <laughs> yeah, it's good for you. Um, so what classes have you taken today, slash are you taking? Um, I've taken Chem 151 already, which is actually not that bad so far. And then I have my seminar, which is biological thought in action later today, so. Okay, cool, cool. So like, overall, for your schedule, how do you think you're gonna do on your classes? Like, do they seem manageable, or? Well, I'm taking chemistry, math, Spanish and then a pretty hard seminar so I'm very nervous that it's gonna be really really hard but I've always been super organized and stuff so I hope I can keep up hey okay <laughs> that's the spirit Ooh, yeah go cats, <laughs> go cats. <laughs> oh, this thing is like so thick what class are you taking or what's it's your major chemistry but I'm majoring in biology don't do whatever she's doing it's not worth it I promise oh my god Riley and I are here talking and we're just like you you really like you look at college culture and you think like oh yeah that's like when I'm older but literally here I am and I'm still 12 first class this is the, the room pretty standard you will see on like every show ever because I mean <laughs> it's pretty accurate so but uh, yeah, linguistics, I'll let you know how it goes. <sighs> wow, okay. Linguistics was a lot. It was like cool, but it was a lot. And I don't know how to leave the building, but um, there was like a, I, I don't know, it was just a lot. Like a lot of information, a lot of, 
it was a lot of cool stuff. It's pretty much what I wanted to get out of the class, but it's just like, there's so much information. I, I was like typing and I couldn't even type as fast as she was changing the slides like so fast. It was, it was, it was different, but uh, I think it's doable. Hey guys, <laughs> so I just got, uh, I walked by Thunk and they, they, they grabbed me and they invited me in and they were like, hey, you should audition. And I was like, yeah, I was thinking about it. And so here I am and we're at the booth. Oh yes. And we're about to type. Oh, come yeah, on. You are. Let's okay. get it, let's go. Look at him go, Look we love to see it. it. I was totally like, so I've heard about Thunk um, before, but like never before like being on this campus. Wait, how did you, wait, he heard about, how did you hear about oh, Thunk? Okay, well I heard about Thunk like from my friends. Like my friends, because you know the theater kids, so they like get around acapella, that kind of thing. Yeah. And so like I did acapella in my high school, so I was like obviously like acapella guys, like what should I do? And somebody was like thunk, and I was like, what does that mean? And they're like, oh, they're like the best on the campus. I don't know if that's true or not, so I'm not gonna say anything. But you guys were like the first group to actually like reach out. You know what I mean? Well, how are we supposed to not notice you with this awesome backpack? Well, yeah, come thank on, you. Jay, you a little signing off. Jay yeah, signing off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. This has been uh, JX Thunk, the collaboration, and we'll see where this leads, okay? Uh, I'll catch you later. Catch you. So there are an abundance of clubs and, oh sorry, and like student organizations. Like, just look at this, like, so many people. And I don't know, first of all, I know I don't have enough time to do everything, but I don't even have enough time probably to commit to one. So I don't know what I want to do. So uh, pretty much, I needed a little bit of local help. What up, Em? I want to die. Welcome to Northwestern. Hello. Go cats. Oh. oh, yeah, my voice is really bad. I met the other photographer, or one of the other photographers for, um, for work studies, so I won't be alone. That's good. He seems like a nice guy. I'm walking like a fool out here because I... Uh... Did a leg workout a couple days ago and I can't really walk. It's okay. Gotta get, get leg day, don't skip leg day. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh okay. So out here in Evanston, there are a bunch of um, local restaurants that have their own trademark, I guess. We're here at uh, Peppercorn's Kitchen. And uh, they've got some cool drinks. And uh, what are you getting, Ben? Well, I'm going to start off with crab rangoon as an appetizer. And then I'm probably going to get uh, salted crispy chicken or kung pao chicken. If I get the salted crispy chicken, I'm going to have a sauce to go with it so I can dip it in because I don't want it to be too dry. Thank you. I'm sure everybody really wants to know why you want to teach you this. <laughs> So yeah, uh, we finished dinner and it was good. And so um, we're headed back and we're gonna just have a night on the town. So uh, that was a different video. It was a video series on Northwestern. If you like this video, let me know and maybe I'll do some more of them because they're kind of fun to make. Uh, and the community is really interactive so there's always gonna be something to do. Uh, do we have any closing, yeah. closing statements? Bye sisters. <laughs> you're, you're gonna meet all types. Good luck, Charlie.